Okay, I've got my tea, the baby is down. I've pulled together a bunch of data for this video. So let's talk about what's actually selling on Poshmark and eBay right now. I went over my sales data for the past three months. So September, October, November to answer that question. And I really wanted to do this video for two reasons. The first is that there are times in any reseller's career, this certainly happens to me, where you're looking at your phone, you're looking at your Poshmark app, your eBay app, and you're thinking, does anyone even buy anything on here anymore? <laughs> you know, do things actually sell on here anymore? And sometimes those are hour periods, day periods, week periods. I hope y'all's sales are doing well in quarter four, but if not, I hope this video lends some insight into what has been selling for me. My sales have actually been pretty good. I haven't had too many of those days, but I certainly still have some of them. And when I do have them, I like to watch videos like this and I like to see what's selling for other people because it helps me be more strategic in my sourcing. The second reason I wanted to do this is that I have been basically doing this new business model where I source almost exclusively at the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet for the past three months. So I wanted to pause, take a break, look over my data and see what's actually selling from what I'm now picking up in a completely new sourcing strategy. I do have sales from liquidation, which was my main way of sourcing previously. And I'll talk about those as they come up. But of course I'm seeing a lot of sales from the items I'm picking up at the bins. And so I always think it's a good idea to stop, pause and see what's working, what's not. I did do a video recently, which I'll link up on the screen about what is not selling for me that I've been picking up, but this is going to be focused on what is actually selling. So before we jump into the video, one shortcoming that I did want to note is that this type of video, no matter who does it, has a massive shortcoming in that it's very much prone to selection bias, meaning I'm only going to be able to provide data based off of what I'm picking up and I'm picking up based off of you know, what I think is going to sell. And so it's limited by what I'm coming across. It's limited by my own knowledge base. It's limited by, you know, my own biases. And so just wanted to put that out there. Okay. So quickly, I just wanted to mention what the past three months have looked like for me and my business. So I am filming this on November 27th. I think these numbers might be from the 26th. My total sales from September, October, and November thus far have been $52,196.20. And that's revenue, it's not profit. So my gross profit, because I know I'm gonna get that question, is $31,005.56. And then the total items that I've sold in this period is 1,052. So it's a fairly decent data set. Um, of course it's biased like I mentioned, but it's still, I think, a good period, a three month period is a good amount of time to look over what is actually selling. So I went through everything, I coded my data based off of category and brand. And so this is what I found. I'm gonna put up on the screen how it broke down by category. I actually left out a couple of smaller categories like swim, but these are the main categories uh, that were selling for me. I'm not gonna read through every single one of these. If you wanna pause and read through it, feel free. Um, obviously, number one for me is shoes. That is because I had a liquidation palette, actually, that my very last liquidation palette I've ever ordered was a strictly shoe palette. And so I've sold 175 shoes in that period. Um, the average sales price is, of course, elevated because they were new in box shoes, which was great. And I think I had a 300 shoes in that palette. And so I've sold the majority of them already, but it's brought in over $10,000 in uh, sales, which is great. It kind of made me think like, oh, maybe I should buy another shoe palette <laughs> if it comes up, if I find one. So I might just kind of keep my eyes off for that. But in general, I'm actually really happy with the new direction of my business. Next was dresses and then pants and sweaters, tops, jackets, jeans. Those are kind of the top seven that I wanted to focus on. Home on there is almost exclusively, again, liquidation. I got these barefoot dreams blankets that uh, sold pretty well. I'm sold out of them already, but they definitely, if you come across a Barefoot Dreams blanket or robe, they sell really well, especially new with tag. Okay, but the things that I thought were interesting, sweaters and jackets, of course, are selling well this time of year, but pants and tops are performing better than I would have guessed. They do have lower average sales prices, but um, I'm selling a lot of them and they have 
pretty fast sell-through rates if you look at the average days till sold on those two. And then the other thing that surprised me when looking at this data is that jeans are lower on this list than I would have guessed. In fact, when I asked Matt, what do you think is number one? He guessed jeans. <laughs> and I think it's because I really enjoy selling jeans, but they're still performing well. They have a good average sales price and a good average day still sold. So happy about that. And then at the bottom, skirts. <laughs> It was actually, it surprised me how poorly they're doing, even though I really don't like selling skirts. And while I'm not surprised they're not doing well, I'm surprised they're doing that poorly, but oh well. Okay, so before we get over the overview of what brands have been selling most for me, I wanted to talk about a few brands that I don't find a ton of, but I have found in the past three months at the bins and have sold really quickly and for good money. And so these are ones that I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for in the future. And also I'd be willing to pay up for them if I came across them at Goodwill. So the first one is kind of just a humble brag. <laughs> you, you probably already know this brand. You probably already would pick it up if you came across it. But it's Doen, an amazing brand. Maybe like one of the best selling brands on the resale marketplace because it just retains its value like crazy. It sells so quickly. Um, yeah, I definitely pay up for Doen if I came across it and I found this one at the bins, which was amazing. I found it for 85 cents at the bins. I listed it and it sold the same day. Listed for 250, sold full price for 250. And that gave me a gross profit of $197.43. So that was awesome. I was so, so, so excited to find Doen. I posted about it on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do so. But yeah, if you ever find Doen, uh, pick it up, especially if it's priced reasonably. And if, even if it's not, I mean, it's probably worth picking up. <laughs> Maybe check on some. Okay, the next is a brand that I love finding and selling, and that is Vuari. I think I've only found it once or sold it once in these past three months. This Vuari Performance Crew is actually missing the size tag. I found it at the bins for 84 cents. I listed it for 75 and my Posture V8 always sends out 30% off offers on everything. And if you don't have Posture V8, highly recommend it. it. Generates so many sales for me. And if you use code MoeyBeth, I think you get 20% off your first subscription purchase whether that be a month or a year, whatever it is. And a lot of y'all have signed up using my code and have DM'd me saying that it's changed your sales completely. So thank you in advance if you do use my code. But uh, yeah, anyway, I sold it for 52. It did take actually longer than I thought it would to sell. It took 21 days. Vuari though is just a really hot brand and I would highly recommend picking it up if you come across it. I profited, gross profit of $39.04. So that was a really good sale. Okay, the next one is a brand I didn't know about. And I went again on my Instagram stories and posted about it. And I was like, wow, did y'all know about this brand? It showed comps. And a lot of y'all DM'd me and said, yeah, I know about this brand, it's really great. And this brand was also a collaboration with Barstool Golf. So the brand is Roback, R-H-O-B-A-C-K. And it was a collaboration with Barstool Golf which I post on my stories, oh, even though it has this logo, I'm gonna pick it up anyway. And then y'all were like, no, the Barstool Sports or Golf, it actually makes it more valuable. So that's another thing I'm gonna keep a lookout for in the future is Barstool Golf or Barstool Sports stuff. But anyways, I found this at the bins for a dollar and one cent and I listed it for 75 and it sold for, I got an offer for 50 the next day or it might've been the same day and accepted it. And so I grossed a $37.27 profit. Really good sale, really happy about that. And I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for Roback and Barstool Sports and Golf stuff. Okay, the next is a very hot brand, hot, hot right now. And <laughs> it's Arcteryx. Man, this, Brand, I don't understand why it's, I guess it's like, I don't know, very in high demand. I found it at the bins, which was awesome. You know when you find stuff like that, you, your body, you just get like this wave of excitement <laughs> in your body. And you're like, oh my God, in your head. I found it, uh, spent 99 cents on it. I listed it for 120 and then I received an offer for $81 and I went ahead and accepted it. It was after only 10 days and I had a gross profit of $62.09. And then the last thing I want to mention is Johnny Was. I've been finding Johnny Was, or I found three beautiful embroidered white blouses 
at the bins the, these past three months, which was awesome. But Johnny Was sells almost exclusively for me on eBay. Like it doesn't move very quickly on Poshmark, but it moves super quickly for me on eBay. I actually just sold another Johnny Was blouse on eBay today, so it's not on here. But this was one I sold earlier. And so of course this was an eBay sale. Like I said, early move Johnny Was on Poshmark. And this is a Johnny Was Tamiya blouse. Spent 95 cents on it. And I had it listed for 100. I accepted an offer for 60 plus 5.99 shipping. So that gave me a gross profit of $47.11 and I had it listed for only 19 days on eBay. So that was a really good sale. And I just, yeah, I wanted to include that because if you are picking up Johnny Was and it's not doing well for you on Poshmark, same, but it does really well for me on eBay. So maybe just try cross-listing it over there. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about the top brands that I've been selling uh, these past three months. So I put together a graphic, it's a full screen graphic I'll put up on the screen of my top 12 brands for this fall. So some of these on this list are definitely fueled by liquidation. For instance, I do sell free people that I find at the bins, but I had a free people liquidation palette that I bought a year ago and I'm still getting sales from that. So that is why free people is number one. Similarly, Sam Edelman is from that shoe palette. Tory Burch, I did find one Tory Burch piece at the bins, but most of that is the shoe palette. McDougal is from Liquidation, Steve Madden, Barefoot Dreams. But the ones that have been primarily thrifted, I'm gonna circle. So, Madewell, Mother, Lululemon, Anthropology, and J Brand. And I'm including in my term thrift online arbitrage because Mother and J Brand if you have watched my online arbitrage videos, you know I get a lot of those two brands from online arbitrage. And actually, after looking at this data, I went to the Rail Rail, their Black Friday sale, and I purchased some more <laughs> Mother and J brand jeans because this was like, hey, it's actually, you know, my strategy is actually paying off. So if you haven't watched those videos, I'll link up the last one I did. I think I did a haul of online arbitrage purchases up on the screen. Um, but let's rewind, let's go back to number two, which was Madewell. A lot of people tell me they can't sell Madewell, but I love Madewell. <laughs> Madewell's like number one in my heart. It might be number two on this graph, but it's number one for me. I have gotten a few pieces of Madewell through liquidation, but it's been a long time. So the majority of what I'm selling in Madewell is thrifted. Uh, whether it's the regular Goodwill, I do get a good amount of Madewell jeans through regular Goodwill or the bins. And mainly what this is comprised of is jeans. I am really happy with what I see here. It's got a strong average sales price of $41.14. Uh, my average days till sold isn't too bad at 121 days. And it's got a good average profit margin. So I am happy <laughs> with Madewell. I know in my what's not selling video, I talked about Madewell jeans and there are certain styles that I'm gonna steer clear of, but there, I sell a lot of good Madewell jeans and it sells well for me. So I'm gonna keep on doing it. I will say overalls, maternity, and more recent styles, especially rigid denim styles are gonna do better, but I still pick up skinny jeans and it still does well, especially certain sizes. So happy with my performance of Madewell. Also wanted to talk about Lululemon. This is all thrifted and mainly at the bins because of course I'm not getting Lululemon through liquidation. I don't know anyone who has a Lululemon liquidation hookup, but it has an amazing sell through rate. If you look at the days till sold, 38 on average, that's really good. And it has a pretty good average sales price of $37.81, especially for thrifted items. I mean, that's, my sweet spot, I wanna be on average at 35. So I pick up basically anything Lululemon at the bins and that includes older style stuff, tank tops, things I wouldn't necessarily pick up at a regular Goodwill or haven't been anyway. I've been picking up at the bins and actually having really good luck with it. And so I just pick up literally anything. Let me give you a couple examples of sales that surprised me. So the first is this pair of Lululemon Astro pants. And I remember I was really debating on whether I wanted to pick this up or not when I found them at the bins. I spent 88 cents on them. 
list them for $50 after checking comps. They sold full price for $50 after 16 days, which gave me a gross profit of $37.40. So that is an older style and it sold really well. An example of a tank top doing really well is this Lululemon Open Up tank. I spent 99 cents on it. I listed it for 38 and then received an offer for 32 and accepted it. And it sold after just one day and it gave me a gross profit of $24.61. So I am really picking up almost everything with lemon and I am liking the results. The last brand I wanted to talk about is Anthropology. Been surprised at the results of my Anthropology sales too. And almost everything from here is from the bins. There are a couple from a regular Goodwill and then one online arbitrage for like forever ago that I sold. But I, yeah, I've been really happy and surprised with how well Anthropology is selling the pieces I am picking up at the bins. I tend to really stick with only newer styles and then outerwear of older styles is something I really like. So for example, this 11sies coat, I picked this up at the bins for 88 cents and it sold for $59 after only one day, which gave me a gross profit of $44.60. So that was a really good sale. And an example of a kind of newer piece that sold well was one I got at a regular Goodwill, this Anthropology Maeve Birdie cardigan. Uh, I spent $14.99 on it. I listed it for $60 and it sold full price for $60, which gave me a gross profit of $31.29 and it sold after only 10 days. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to talk about from my top selling brands, but I did want to talk about additional brands that have just been selling really well for me that I haven't necessarily had the volume of those top selling brands, but when I do find them, they do really well. The first is Patagonia. I love selling Patagonia. I'm wearing Patagonia. I actually found this at the bins. <laughs> and I pick it up almost every time I find it at the bins. Living in the Pacific Northwest, I come across it more often than I used to. I have sold 12 Patagonia items in the past three months, and that has resulted in $456.96 in sales with the average sales price of $38.08. Average days to tell sold is 34, which is great. And it's got a good average profit margin too. Like I said, I pick up everything, women's, men's, kids. I just wanted to share a couple of sales that I had recently that I feel like surprised me a little bit and did really well. So the first is this pair of Cinchilla joggers. I actually sold them on eBay. I purchased them at the bins for $1.10. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but almost everything that I sell from Patagonia is from the bins. I think I had like one sale that was a regular Goodwill, but I, I almost always just buy it at the bins. So anyway, a uh, dollar and ten cents, and I had it listed for ninety, and I accepted an offer on eBay for fifty dollars plus seven ninety nine shipping, and that gave me a gross profit of thirty eight dollars and fifty one cents, and it sold after only sixteen days of being listed on eBay. And then the second one, this is something that I kind of picked up on a whim, but now I'm just picking up literally all kids Patagonia pieces and listing them as well. But I think this particular style does well. It's the Patagonia reversible puffball pant. Sold on Poshmark. So cute. Probably weighed like next to nothing, but I uh, had a cost of goods of 88 cents because I cost average everything from my bins purchases. And so I had them listed for 45. It sold to a Posher VA offer of 30% off for $31. Uh, with discounted shipping and so that gave me a gross profit of $22.20 and it sold after only nine days so I was really happy about that. The next brand I wanted to talk about is Marine Layer. I've been picking up Marine Layer a lot at the bins and I've been having really good results with it. Again, similar to Patagonia, I pick up everything, men's, women's. Um, I even pick up like men's t-shirts if they're in excellent condition. And that's really what I look for is, is it in excellent condition because if it's not, I'll pass on it. But the categories that sell specifically really well by Marine Layer are coats or outerwear and sweaters. Here's an example of a teddy coat that I found at a regular Goodwill a while ago. It took me a while to list it for whatever reason. I purchased it for $9.99. I think I featured it in a thrift haul, but it take me a while to find that, so <laughs> I'm not going to go look it up. But um, I purchased it for $9.99, and uh, I had listed it for $100, and it sold for $70, and after 10 days, and that gave me a gross profit of $46.01. So 
I was really happy with that sale and definitely going to be picking up more marine layer in the future, especially at the bins. Next is a brand that I pick up a lot at the bins and it's one that I think a lot of people pass on and that is Zara. I've sold 15 Zara pieces, which have resulted in $415.49 in sales with an average sales price of $27.70, which isn't that high, but Zara doesn't retail for a lot of money. But what I do find is it sells fairly fast. I do have an average day sale sold of 95, but it's really good for just like, you know, volume selling. I do come across the Zara quite a bit at the bins and I try to be selective. So this tag is the one that I like to pick up. And it typically is the tag that's on more kind of recent pieces and more trendy pieces. I, I try to pass on, you know, things that are either all outdated or just more basics. And I will say Zara sells a lot better on Poshmark than it does on eBay. On Poshmark, I'm pretty open to offers when it comes to Zara. I just kind of want to move things quickly. And so buy Zara outerwear and dresses really sell the best. A couple of Zara pieces I wanted to share my success with you on was this Zara long vest. I found this with the thrift with me with Tomas, which I'll link up on the screen in case you didn't watch that. I had a cost of goods at 84 cents. I listed it for $60 and it uh, sold to a Posture VA offer for 42, 30% off after only two days, which gave me a gross profit of $31.04. I also found this at the bins. It was a new tag at Zara ruched asymmetric dress. It was really pretty. I find new tag Zara from time to time at the bins, which is cool. I had a cost of goods of $1.23. I listed it for 45 and again, thanks Posture VA, sold for 30% off with one of those offers. And that gave me a gross profit of $21.85. It took a little while to sell. It sold after 80 days, but I'm still really happy with that sale. Okay, next on the list of additional brands I wanted to talk about is Prana. Prana is a brand I never picked up, I think, before this year. <laughs> so I have been experimenting with Prana and I've been really liking the results, especially when I pick it up at the bins. I've sold 13 Prana items in the past three months and $369.46 in total sales with again, a lower average sales price of $28.42, but I'm picking up tank tops, I'm picking up t-shirts, I'm picking up everything by Prana, and it has an average day sales sold of 50, which is good, I think that's really good, and an average profit margin of 63.23%. That's because I basically only pick it up at the bins. The three categories I think do the best by Prana is outerwear, sweaters, and dresses. I think I'm gonna cool it on picking up jeans by Prana. I been picking up jeans at the bins, but I don't think I've even sold. Maybe I've sold one pair of Prana jeans, but not a lot of them. And then I'm, I was paying up for Prana Swim, like one pieces at Goodwill, and I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. I do really like selling men's stuff by Prana too. So a couple examples of Prana sales that have done well for me. The first was this Prana Nicole jacket, and it was a size extra small, so it still sold really fast. It had a cost of goods of $1.23. I listed it for $60, received an offer for $51, and accepted it. And that gave me a gross profit of $37.85. I said really fast. It sold after 49 days, but that's a little, what, a month and some change. That's pretty good. And then an eBay sale on Prana were these Prana Continuum pants. They were men's. I picked them up for 80 cents. I had them listed for 40 and they sold for 30 plus 7.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $23.53 and it sold after only 12 days. So that's really good. Okay, next on the list is Spanx. I still really like selling Spanx. I've sold five Spanx in the past three months for $213 with average sales rates of $42.60. But look at that average they still sold 12 days. That's awesome. I will say there are certain things that aren't selling for me very well anymore by Sphinx. Leggings just aren't selling quite as well as they used to, especially smaller styles and just anything in a size extra small by Sphinx. I have a hard time moving, but small and up, I still do well with. And I think the two categories that have done especially well with me when it comes to Sphinx is maternity jeggings or jeans or leggings and then they're like flare jeans i found a pair of new attack flare jeans at the bins here let me share that with you now so i found these new attack spanx flare jeans they were size extra large tall 
Got them for 86 cents at the bin, so it was an amazing find. I found it right when I walked in, it was great. I enlisted them for 120 and accepted an offer for 70, which gave me a gross profit of $53.42, and they sold after only eight days, so that was awesome. And then another sale by Sphinx that I wanted to share was the Sphinx Mama ankle jeanish leggings i think these were the ones that uh disappeared from my cart that one time if you know what i'm talking about and so they had a cost of goods of one dollar and ten cents and i listed them for 70 and they sold for 49 with this kind of chipping which gave me a gross profit of 36 dollars and 38 cents 49 is 30 percent off so posh for ba sale thank you and it sold after only 12 days okay so two more brands i wanted to talk about First is Athleta. Again, I don't think I was picking up Athleta before this year, and it's something that I am glad I started picking up. And really what I found, I've sold seven pieces by Athleta for $211.92, with an average sales price of $30.27, which is a little bit lower you know, than what I'm aiming for, but still good, and I'm still, I'll still take it. But the average they still sold 19, that's great. I think I pick up Athleta almost exclusively, at the bins. Something I've noticed, and I noticed it when I was kind of doing research on this brand too, is that black items tend to sell the best. Black pants especially, or leggings, and but also tops and stuff. Uh, two examples. So first is this top. This was a athletic gallery top that I got at the bins for a dollar and one cent, and I listed it for forty dollars. It sold, I think, same day or next day for forty dollars with this kind of chipping, which gave me a gross profit of $29.27. That was such a good sale. I was really, really happy with that. And then another one is this Athleta Salutation Jogger Pant. I also got these at the bins for 95 cents. I listened for 50. Someone accepted my Posture VA offer of 30% off for 35, which gave me a gross profit of $25.33 and sold after only 20 days. Okay, so the last brand I want to talk about is Torrid. I love selling Torrid. I really wasn't picking up Torrid a lot, I think, before this year either. So I have been really, really happy with the results of Torrid. I've sold seven in the past three months for $178. Um, it, it does have a lower sales price, $25.43, but look at that average days till sold six. It's crazy and a great profit margin because I only pick up Torrid at the bins because I really only started picking up Torrid when I started going to the bins and I don't really go to Goodwill, regular Goodwills that much anymore. But with the average sales price, I probably wouldn't pay up for Torrid. It's just a really good volume seller bins pickup because it sells so quickly and so consistently. And I find that sweaters, by Torrid have been selling particularly well for me. So I wanna share just a couple of Torrid success sales. Uh, the first was this really cute Torrid crochet open front cardigan. I purchased it for 77 cents. I don't remember what I listed it for, but it sold for 30 with discounted shipping after only 10 days, which gave me a gross profit of $21.51. And then I also, I think the same day, I just found a lot of good Torrid stuff in this one bin. I found this new with tag Torrid colored shirt dress. And again, 77 cents. And again, I don't didn't mark down what it, I listed it for, but it sold for $36. And with this kind of chipping, which gave me a gross profit of $26.31 and sold after only eight days. Okay, so that is the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you look over your sales in the past three months, what is actually selling for you? I'm really, really curious. Are there any brands on this list that aren't selling for you for some reason? Or are you having the same kind of success with these brands as well? Or are there certain brands that just am skipping on and I need to pick up more of because they sell really consistently and really well for you. Super curious. I love watching videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are putting out new videos every week and I'm gonna try to maybe start putting out two videos a week, but don't hold me to it. But I'm gonna try because there's some new video concepts that I wanna try out. All right, but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to be reading the comments because I'm so interested to hear what's actually selling for you. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.